Hello and welcome to tutorial number 45 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and this tutorial is going to be a follow up of the previous tutorial where we used the open file dialog and we're just going to use the save file dialog just to make sure we've covered that as well now in the previous tutorial we didn't actually open a file we just took the name of the file the user selected well in this one with the save file dialog we're going to take the name of the file the user selects and then we're actually going to save the txt file so go ahead and create a new project save file oops save file dialog save txt okay so first of all I'm going to rename this save file and we're going to add a text box multi-line and just going to add a, bu a button save okay so now, now that we've done this we can add our save file dialog tool and as we went over in the previous tutorial we can edit certain settings on in the properties such as file name filter initial directory well for this one we're just going to say the filter is going to be txt files star.txt you should know what this means because you went over this in the previous tutorial oops I need to just make this a bit bigger Okay, um text files txt files and then the little weird line star oops star dot txt and the line all files and then star dot star. That'll be our filter. And initial directory is going to be C folder test which I've already created this folder by the way so just use whatever folder you want here okay so now that we've entered the settings of the save file dialog we can go ahead and click save double click and start the coding right now um, in about two tutorials ago I think it was we went over how to save the contents of a text box to a, t a txt file you should know how to do this now so I'm going to just go over that code without explaining it because you should already know it that's not the point of this tutorial but if you don't know it go back now and watch the tutorial on saving a text file using the stream reader okay so actually first of all we're going to need to double click save file dialog and then we have our two coding spaces here so in the first one we want to say save file dialog one dot show dialog similar to the previous tutorial all this is going to do is open up the save as window okay now when we click ok on save file first of all we want to take the name of the file we select so we're just going to declare a new string declare file to save as as a string equals save file dialog one dot file name so what this is is this is just as in the previous tutorial we explained the file that the user selects say that the say they say we want to save it as one two three dot txt it'll save it as the path and then forward slash um one two three dot txt so that's all this is and then as you know we can save a txt file using the stream reader now before I say this um, I know there is an easier way to save text files and read text files but I just wanted to go over the stream reader instead so there's a one line code you can use but I prefer using the stream reader okay now so we're going to declare obj writer as new system.io.streamwriter and in brackets this is going to be the file we save it as which we declared up here 
file to save as. We could easily just put in a uh, save file dialog one dot file name. But I just wanted to make it a bit neater to clear the variable up here instead. Okay, so after this, obj writer dot write. I'm going to use textbox one dot text because that's the text box going to write in, and then obj writer dot close. Okay, so there wasn't much coding involved in that, but basically all we're doing is first of all we declare well sorry first of all we show the save file dialog one and then once the users hit OK they've selected the file it saves the file that they select as to the variable file to save as and then we use this stream writer here to save the file using the file name so go ahead and debug that And let's just type some random shit here. Random shit. Some more random shit and then hit save. And it opens in folder test, that same folder I created in the previous tutorial. And just we'll save it as crap.txt. And that file has now saved as a text file. So that's how to use the save file dialog it's really easy when you think about it, it's just exactly the same as the open file dialog it just allows the user to select a file name without typing it into a text box so save file dialog and open file dialog are really useful to use in your applications so you should try and implement them where you can so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions about the save file dialog just leave a comment if you have, have any suggestions or requests leave a comment and please like this video if you want and subscribe for many more tutorials. Thanks.